So I started to add some of the fun elements onto this house. Uh, next steps, I think, are to maybe do something with the roof. I noticed there's an option here. Um, there were some handrails in the drawing, so maybe I put some elements like that in. Put some landscaping in because this was built into a hill. Uh, and then maybe some textures and materials. And then maybe finishing up with playing around with cameras, lighting, a little bit of rendering. On that note, uh, or before continuing, a small note about house cleaning stuff is that I've referenced this in some of the videos, is that as we put different elements in, there are modifiers. And uh, I've just gone ahead and, you know, accepted the modifiers that were in place when I was ready to do other things with the object. But in this case, you can see this is a mirror modifier. It's mirrored on X. If I push tab and go into edit mode, you can see that the stairs are built on one side and the other side is simply a mirror of them. If you're happy with what you have and feel like it's about where it needs to be, you can simply go back into object mode and in the modifier properties, that's where I am for that item, you can select that modifier, the arrow, and push apply. And now if I tab back into this, you'll see that this is a wholly built object. So that can be part of the housekeeping process as you start wrapping up projects. It's no different than how I went through and created parenting relationships to make sure that's, that um, certain windows or doors went with certain floors or how I uh, started applying some naming conventions to different things. That can be simply part of the process. So anyway, continuing on with the roof, I did move my origin here, my 3D cursor. I might actually... Now that I think about it, I think I'm going to apply the modifiers on this as well, on the top room. And I'm going to tab into this. And let's look at vertex mode. And Yep. I'm going to move that cursor over just a bit. So I'm going to do a Shift S, cursor to selected. I will tab out. And then going back to create and Archimesh, I will go ahead and add a roof. I've got my little uh, number tiles here. Let's just say maybe 50. A couple more. All right, 57 looks about right. Um, on the y-axis, let's do, I don't know, 25. A little too well, it depends on what I'm doing. I think I'm going to have it just stop at the edge of the roof proper. So maybe let's shorten it up a little bit. Oh, that looks about right. I don't see. Okay. Yep. Different model of tiles. So let's see what else we have for looks. Oh, I see. Model three. All right, so these all appear to be basically the same. Well, not no, they're not exactly the same. I'll go with model three. All right, and then we'll go with that. Uh, next step, handrails. 